today we'd like to read you the story of Room on the Broom with Lots of Gymnastics by Julia Donaldson. Come and join us. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. It's time for us to try and be like the witch's hat in the story. See if you can sit in a beautiful straddle. You can't really sit in a beautiful straddle in front of you. Yeah. Sit, sit really stretched up. Now we need legs straddled. Now that is the base of our hat. And our arms like this. And stretch through your body so you're really tall. Can you do this? Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat. But no hat could be found. Now, when we're going down, we're going to have a go at rolling down. Let's have a go at our forward roll. So, we start with a stretch. We go down into a tuck shape. Tuck first, Connie. Tuck those knees in, bend those knees. That's it. Put your hands on the floor, bottom in the air. Head on the floor. Look at your belly button and roll. Good girl, then try and sit up at the end. Out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Should we be like a dog? Like a dog? Let's do some dog bunny hops across the floor. So, get into your tuck shape, and we do our hands, then our feet, then our hands on our feet, then our hands on our feet. See if you can bunny hop a bit like a dog. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly onto her head, "I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me?" Yes, cried the witch. And the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! Thank God. See if you can find someone at home to help you be travelling along on the broomstick. Have a look. The adult or the older child needs to sit, go on their hands and knees, and the little one climbs onto their back and we go along like it's a broomstick. <laughs> And the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed that aloud and held on to her hat, but away flew her bow from her long ginger plaid. Okay, now we're going to try and be like a bow. So I want you to sit on your bottom, put your feet together, and push, sit up straight, and push down your knees. Okay, see if you can make this shape like a bow. You're doing a great job, look. Fantastic orbits, oh, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Can you remember last time it said down and we had a go at doing the forward roll? Should we have a go at another? Yeah. And do us a nice forward roll. Go. Down. Look at your belly button. Yay! Down and then see if you can sit up at the end. Good Out from a tree there was an ear splitting shriek. They flapped a green bird with a bow in their beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her plait in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? Okay, let's try and be like that bird. Can you get on your tippy toes and flutter your arms and go on a little walk? Flutter, flutter, flutter. cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on, the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Should we have another go at sitting on our broomstick? Yeah. Try and find an adult to help you. Are you ready to whoosh along? Yeah. Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> Over the beads and rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond, the witch clutched her bow and let but let go of her wand. Okay, the wand in the story has a lovely star at the top. Let's stand up and practice our twinkle turn, putting our hands in a nice diamond shape, a bit like a star. Ready? Twinkle, 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 twinkle. We can move. Can you move around a little bit doing your twinkle turns? Have a go cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They 
you search for the wand, but no wand could be found. Can you remember what we did when we heard the word Dell last time? Another four draw. Let's see what we can do. Connie, can you be your four draw? Big stretch. Um, I don't need your head. Okay, on your own. Go on then. <gasps> Fantastic. And you got up to sit. Let's see if you can do that at home. All of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the frog to her I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the brim for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded off. Okay, let's be a frog. Nice big frog jumps. Bending from the floor, jumping to the sky, bending from the floor, jumping to the sky. Have a go at home, said the frog, the witch. So the frog bounded on, the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. Okay, while well, the animals were tumbling and tumbling, let's see if we can do a backwards tumble in a backwards roll. Are you ready? Lay on your back. Okay, that's it. Where do your hands go? Do you remember? Very good. By your ears. Lift up your legs. And if you can get this way, and if you can get an adult's help, see if they can tumble you over the top. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I wonder what it was. <gasps> I am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chicks for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licked his lips. He said, maybe this once I'll have witch without a chip. Let's see if we can stretch up like a dragon. So we're going to lay on our tummy. See if you can lay on your tummy, Connie. Can you lay on your tummy? Quickly. And then we push our hands into the floor and we lift up our body. And we're going to stretch up like a big dragon. We're going to shout, roar! Give me a roar, Connie. Roar! Just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a terrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my bitch. Okay, let's have a go at being that frightful animal that's really the witch's friend. And you're gonna need some more adult support to help you with this one. So, the adult needs to go onto their knees and the child needs to sit on their shoulders. Come and join me. Ready? I'm going to climb up, lift up, move the top, and hold on to the legs. And if they're feeling really brave, they might want to stand up. Can we give us a rah? <laughs> the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you and now I must fly and he spread out his wings and was off through the sky then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog down climbed the cat and phew said the dog and oh thank you oh thank you they cried with they were grateful that witch cried without you I'd be in the dragons inside she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin Find something everyone threw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a comb, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. And so they need to sleep. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. And we're going to try this spell all together. Now the spell is Iggity Ziggity 
zakati zoo. Okay, are you ready to try? Send it for me, honey. Now for this, we're going to wave our wand and we're going to transfer our weight from one leg to the other leg. Ready for those cartwheel practices? We go. Ziggity, zaggity, zaggity, zoom. Have a go. Zaggity, zaggity, zoom. And Rose, oh, should we find out what it rose? A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower. For the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh. Shall we have one last go at being that broomstick? Are you ready? Yes. Right, stand up for me. On the adult goes. On you get, Connie. See if you can climb on. Are you ready? Yes. Zoom! We really hope you enjoyed our story and we hope that you had lots of fun. We'll see you soon.